these demos are based on what's called the Kitty Benchmark. It's an automotive industry benchmarking platform and it's allowed us to basically compare how we perform against others in the, uh, in the industry space. So the Kitty Benchmarks we've done have been for pedestrian detection and for free space detection. Uh, pedestrian detection allows us to pull pedestrians out of the images and, uh, and demonstrate that we can do it at uh, a very great distance, which means you've got fewer and fewer pixels, which is again very important because pixels cost power. Uh, with the free space demo, what we've been able to do is be able to demonstrate how our approach to neural networks allows us to define things that are otherwise quite difficult to define in terms of the boundaries between where free space exists and where it doesn't exist. What we've managed to achieve is, uh, is quite important and ultimately what we have here is a solution that most of the automotive industry are very keen to understand and keen to understand so that they can actually take ownership their own software, their own neural network, so they can deliver ADAS solutions and autonomous driving solutions, which are so vitally important to them going forward in their, in their industry. So I mentioned the free space uh, demonstration on the Kitty benchmark. Free space is a difficult thing to define. We're trying to try, what we're trying to do is uh, that human-like thing. Is it safe to move, maneuver my vehicle into, uh, into, the, into the space around me? Is there an object that I need to avoid? It's not particularly uh, an issue of road space and where curbs are defined and where curb edges are maybe. What it's about is say you're running uh, at slow or, uh, or you're in a, uh, a rural environment. Free space again is very difficult to define and Iabra's implementation has this notion of, um, of, of, of a signal to noise ratio. It has a, an output of um, energy and what we have on the screens is effectively an energy map. The darker the pixel, the greater the energy. And what's a, good, what's a good example is where the free space exists on the images that we have here is where the darkest pixels are. So the darkest pixels represent where the free space is. And certainly on, the, uh, on this laptop over here, what we can see is the free space is quite narrow, bounded by a truck uh, and by a barrier on the, on the freeway. Uh, and as you can see from the image, the darker pixels are exactly where the car has the ability to actually continue to maneuver.